Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I am going to show you how to take a very simple design and elevate into a gorgeous artwork by choosing the contrasting color combination. So before getting started, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for interesting arts and crafts videos. In this video, we are going to paint this morning glory and I have already drawn this simple design on a paper. And I'll be painting on an OHP sheet using glass painting technique and I'm using a grey outliner from Pebu. To begin with, I'm fixing the position of the design on the OHP sheet using masking tape. And I'm using this grey sun relief liner from Pebu. I'll add all the details about the paints and other materials used in the description below. You can leave all the details now and just draw the outline since all the details can be done after the paints get dried. As I have mentioned in my previous videos, it's always better to start drawing the outline from top to bottom or from one side to another. Once the outlining is thoroughly finished, I let it dry for few hours before starting the painting. I am using transparent ultramarine blue from Pebio to paint these flowers. Since the design space is really small, I prefer to use a toothpick rather than using a paintbrush. This makes my cleaning process really easy. While spreading the paint, as you can notice, I am leaving some space to spread white shade. Now I am adding few more droplets of the same blue shade in certain portions of these petals to get a darker shade. Now I am using transparent white shade from Pebio Vitrail and this will give a perfect shading for the flower. Here I am using a yellow shade from Marabou Glass Art brand. You can use any other brand according to the availability. For the leaves I am using this green shade from Pebu. As you can see, the painting of this flower portion is completely finished. 
Now I am moving on to painting the background of the painting. For this I am using two shades from the brand Camel. One is sunflower yellow and the other one is bright yellow. I am starting to fill the sunflower yellow from top and then I will blend it with the bright yellow from bottom. As I am not aiming for a perfect rectangle with straight lines, I haven't drawn any outline here. So I am just randomly filling this paint. And this is how it looks and I feel the background without any outline adds an extra beauty to the painting. Now once the painting is thoroughly dried, I am adding few details with the golden liner. This is an optional step but I feel my painting was lacking some texture so I wanted to add some details with this golden liner. And once the painting is dried, it's time to keep it in a frame and I'm using an off-white background for this painting. And now I feel that I've missed adding few more details in certain portions of these leaves and petals. And this is how the finished painting is looking. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I love creating this one. So next time even if you have a limited palette make sure to choose wise contrasting colors so that you will get an extraordinary result. If you like this video please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you so much for watching.